Hello everyone, this is Akuchi, back with some more Dominion. I'll be playing my final league match, well, at least part of my final league match, against Sirisk. I do have to stop after um, an hour and a half or two hours, somewhere around there. I definitely don't want to go past two hours. Um, so yeah, we'll finish the match some other time. Um, but yeah, here are the standings. You can see there's a three-way tie for last place, so only one of us can escape. Well, maybe it's technically possible for two of us to escape, but uh, we need to win at least uh, over half of our matches, and or half of our games, and ideally we win like five. That'd be great, but you know. That might not happen. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, so the draw here is Imp from Exorcist or Mapmaker. So we probably want to get it. Mm. I don't know if Champion is like great. Seems pretty good. But there's no plus buy, right? This is a pretty awkward board. I mean, it's the only trashing. I think we have to go with Exorcist. Oh, there's a duck ducket. There is plus buy. We're good. We're saved. Can even use silver man, silver mine to gain ducats, which is pretty decent. So yeah, it's all good. I don't like that smugglers exist, but I don't know. Not much to do about that. I think this looks like a pretty good two-page kingdom. I don't know whether the second one stays at warrior or stays at hero, but either way it should be valuable. I mean, it'll stay at warrior for a while. <coughs> but it might turn into hero at the end if we get enough other stuff. Hero can gain golds or silver mine. Quarry looks bad. Nothing costs more than... There's no action that costs more than four. I guess if you have enough plus buy, it's decent. Yeah, this board looks pretty... Pretty uninteresting. Mapmaker can activate with mill purchases, which makes it better than usual. So I won't hesitate to get, like, if we happen into four copper next turn, I'll get a map maker. I think. It'll be a little awkward once we have warrior, but we'll make it work. Oh, apothecary. Huh. That was not on my radar. Yeah, I'll go without. If we hit three, I don't know what to get. Probably a ducat. We could get smugglers, but smugglers can't gain a poth carry, so... Hmm. Doesn't seem great. All right, with four, I like map maker, I think. There are some draws which make it less good. If 
you have a ducket, a quarry, and a potion. Apothecary is kind of free, but that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of treasures to combine. Free, and you still have a coffer and the coin from quarry, and everything else costs two less. So it is nice if you get there. <clears throat> And we are going to have these coppers in our deck for a while, so <clears throat> pop carry is good from that perspective. All right, what's our next buy? Do we want to play with a second exorcist? Probably, probably not. So we can get a ducket or a mill. I'm thinking smugglers, huh? It's annoying. Yeah. Do we want the second exorcist? It's like it's really slow. I mean, is mill any good? This is the question we ought to be asking. Yeah, I don't like Second Exorcist in general. I don't want a second map maker right now. I don't really want throne rooms at all. If we top deck map maker, that'll be fine, I guess. Which we did. And my opponent will gain a mill. No, no such luck. Mm, okay. Oh boy, we trashed their warrior. That's nasty. So what do we want at this point? We can buy anything. I'm actually thinking about getting a silver mine. We can get it from the hero, which makes it like... less attractive, but... Honestly, nothing else is super speaking to me. Yeah, we were very fortunate to trash their warrior. I don't think they have anything else up the line. I guess they have a page now. Okay, keep top decking the map maker. That's fine, I guess. Uh, should we buy another map maker? I think now is a good time to do that. Because we have the hero here, so we're going to get a champion in next shuffle. Don't think I can afford to play this map maker. Guess we can get another map maker. <clears throat> be great if my opponent gained a mill.
Our hero should probably gain a gold so that we can buy province. Do it. Buy mail. Okay, they're going for throne rooms now because they. Uh, they're giving up on champion, I guess. <clears throat> Which is interesting. So I can't play that. Um, let's go ahead and get a ducket and another map maker. And we have a billion map makers, so hopefully we see our champion near the top of the shuffle. Now that we have a ducket with our silver mine, we should get a quarry. Bucklers is a card I tend to just not play with. I don't like it. So I probably underplay it, is what I'm trying to say. But when my opponent has these, like, potion and apothecary things, you know, it just doesn't seem super good. Come on. I could have gotten a throne room to try to help this shuffle out instead of like another map maker. But ultimately I don't like that depends on collision more. That's good to see. Alright. And we could get an imp here. I think either way, we pick up a quarry. I think I want to hold on to the quarry. Is it better to trash a copper or get an extra map maker? We can trash a copper and keep a coffer. Hmm. I think that's worth it. I can pick up a page. A page for free is pretty good. Because our opponent doesn't have champion. We can attack more with the warrior. Trash his stuff. Though maybe Cirrus has a warrior now. When did that happen? 
Uh, last turn. Okay. So they have a couple warriors. They won't get to trash anything of mine. Potion's gone. My opponent's deck is interesting. It might do things. That's some good stuff. Put two cards into hand. Can we draw everything? Hmm. Maybe not, maybe so. Looks like we can. <clears throat> Cool. That was nice. Uh, we could get a second... I mean, we're getting a second quarry. That much is clear. And it probably makes sense to exorcist... Uh, a silver, I would think. Well, I'm less sure of this quarry. Like, maybe we should have gotten a ducat. A bit unclear. I think we're just going to get province, mill, map maker, and we'll upgrade. Hmm. So if we didn't have the quarry, if we had another ducat, we'd have to use more coffers. I think this is fine. I think it would have worked fine either way. Oh my god, I trashed a throne room and a map maker. Brutal. That's a nice start to the turn. Sirusk. Uh, this game's almost certainly going to end on provinces, so we just need to play for that.
We'll double province this turn. I wonder how often Warrior gets trashed. Actually, we have that data. I want to look it up right now. My guess would be 15% of games. Any Warrior gets trashed. First Warrior getting trashed, maybe closer to 10%. It's not common, but it is not rare. Yeah, I'll probably gain a ducat. <laughs> My opponent's playing with a pop carries, but has mm, fewer coppers than I do at this point, I think. Mm, right, didn't I play four? Yeah, I have four. means my opponent must have just two. My opponent's got a lot of map makers, which is annoying, because we are going to be buying green. That'll definitely help them out. Yeah, I mean, sure, why not? Oh, wow. What? Hmm. Huh. Mm, that's annoying. Wow. That was really frustrating. Uh, my opponent gained a lot. I mean, we're playing this treasure hunter, so let's just see where that gets us. Six silvers. Okay. Um, we might have lost the game. That may have been a mistake. Which is unfortunate. I was hoping to not lose the game. Hmm. Good thing we didn't activate our opponent's map maker. Saying there's a chance. Not a good chance, but oh, our opponent did. Unexpected. 
we probably um didn't deserve this. I mean, we didn't necessarily deserve to lose, but we did not think through how many silvers we were going to gain. Okay. Getting two provinces here would be great. We don't need those quarries. Hmm. Kind of want that ducat, but we'll live. Mm. Wonder if we can win. No, I think we're st we don't have the bias. Let's just focus on uh mm. Alright, do we wanna just stop now? It's probably correct to stop. Although, we have a map maker down there. I think we can be greedy. Uh, I don't think we need that second ducket particularly. Okay. Uh, so we should get another ducat, I guess. Okay. Uh, so that was our opponent's start, I believe. Yeah. On to game two. Got magic lamp with another heirloom. Gold mine is a new card. We have Exorcist, Puka, Silk Merchant. Wow. So the oh my goodness, so much trashing. The payload looks a little bit light here. So we have a five four effectively. I think I like Puka Exorcist taking the curse. The curse is easily trashed. Only a five coppers to trash. But that should really help us activate Lamp. So this kingdom is definitely low on actions. We could play with Ghost. I mean, Silk Merchant's going to get us villagers while we're building. But then we're probably going to want to play with Ghost once those villagers run out. That's my thinking. A pair of Ghosts perhaps gained via gold mine or just through, like, wishes. But probably gold mine. I'm not going to open Silk Merchant because I'm a madman. Well, this is not looking very good. We're going to trigger a shuffle next turn. Mm, if we see our Puka. That's just bad. 
Yeah, that's just a really bad shuffle. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think any card is worth... I don't think Moat's worth getting, and I don't think any other card is worth the curse at this point. Dang. Dang. Unlucky. You know, this could be a double exorcist kind of board. Or we could be playing with um, Church. Probably should be playing with Church. Take me to church. Okay. Do we get church? Do we get silk merchant? I think this is a good silk merchant. Get. This is so frustrating. Foreseeable, but frustrating. Like, we're, we have the, almost the same situation coming up next turn. Like, I don't want to add anything else. Silk Merchant isn't terrible to add. Do we have the Uniques, by the way? We're getting kind of close. We have a Wisp. We have a Puka, Silk Merchant, Copper, Cursed Gold, Magic Lamp. I think we're there. Right? Yeah. I think we just need to draw everything. So our hand last turn only had one card that cost less than, or cost more than the Wisp threshold. So I think we go Silk Merchant, then Wisp, then Puka, then activate Magic Lamp. Okay. We can plan to get Silk Merchant. That's pretty good. Probably good to have a gold mine. Okay, our opponent activates. But it's also good to just have gold. So we might end up getting a gold, a gold mine, and a silk merchant from these wishes. Seems pretty reasonable.
could also get an exorcist. Yeah, I don't think I need another Silk Merchant. We only have one... Villager, though. That hurts. We really need to get a Ghost, I think. And I'll probably buy a Silk Merchant. Mm. <clears throat> okay. I guess we poop for now. Nice. Hmm. So we're going to have a wish that we can't play. Yeah, I really think I want another Exorcist. I might regret that, but... Okay, so our plan... Oh, we had a plan to... gain a Silk Merchant. That doesn't seem like a realistic plan. I guess my new plan is to trash Silk Merchant. Because we really want a favor. I don't really want to curse, I don't think. Gold mine is not very efficient.
We might be able to turn our Puka into a ghost. That'd be great. I don't know if we're going to have those kinds of draws. But if we can make that work, that would be great. Wait, are we out of estates? I think we actually still have an estate. <laughs> if we find our wish, we can get a silk merchant from it. That would help us with our plan. to exercise our puka. We also have two wisps, which might draw things, but at the very least they cycle. We might only have time for three games. Cirrus plays very slowly. So our opponent got to play all their uh, wishes, which we did not. So that's pretty good. But they don't have two exorcists, so how could they possibly win? They don't even have one. They may find. They also have only one church, which is abhorrent. That's why I didn't get any churches. So I wouldn't be... Left with the pain. Of uh, asymmetrical. Durations. Whoa. What could that possibly be for? Another silk merchant. You know, you should have a plan. You've done this three times now. You should actually buy the thing you're intending to buy. What am I waiting for? Well, that was not good. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so we can get a silk merchant here and do the thing we're planning to do. Are we going to be able to buy anything, though? We may have to play our cursed gold, but that's fine. Oh, never mind. We can exercise into something that Ghost will find. So it's all good. All right. And... We don't need to... play this curse gold. What do we gain by being able to curse gold? We have two coins, which could go up to three. We could, like, get Messenger something. We could, like, get another gold mine. Could get Jester. But I don't want to find any of those with my ghost. On the other hand, I feel like we really should be taking advantage of this plan we have, in which case... should be gaining a curse. Like, we know we're going to have a good turn, don't we? I suppose it's not completely guaranteed. I don't know if it's correct, but I'm going to... <sighs> I know we're going to have the draw. We should add something to our deck. Just don't know what. Could do something lame like Messenger Silvers. Ugh. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate that I'm playing so slowly, trying to think. Could get a steward. I don't love that either. We could just get a silver. A curse and a silver. Whatever, I'm doing it. That, like, is almost certainly not correct, but I just couldn't, couldn't figure it out. Uh-oh. Punished? Let's find out. Could be punished. I just keep thinking I'm going to have overdraw. Right? Yeah, I'm going to have overdraw. So long as I don't find all my stop cards here. There's not a whole lot to do here.
like payload wise. There's Jester. But terminals are terminal space is still tight. I probably need it for draw. So I'm a bit reluctant to do that. Puka did good work. Yep, needs to play with Ghost. Silk Merchant, okay. Our turn is not wasted. All right. Drop the gold. Yeah, we did have one bit of overdraw. All right, so we can buy some things. I don't feel like I need another ghost. We can turn the cursed gold. We could play the cursed gold, but I think I want to exercise it into an imp. So we could go Silk Merchant, Silver. Um, we could go for a gold mine. Nah. Oh. What? I guess I didn't have a target for that exorcist, which means I didn't need to buy the Silk Merchant. Oh well. We'll exercise an exorcist next turn. A gold mine was more efficient if it took less debt to get the gold. I'd keep two exorcists around, I guess, maybe. I guess we could keep the two exorcists around. Here we could go... like province silk merchant or something. Yeah. Forget it. I don't need to trash this Silk Merchant. We have plenty 
it's just good to have reliability. I don't need to trash a copper. I don't need any of that stuff. So, like, we could trash an exorcist here, but no. That's fine. Um, we'll just do it this way. Feels like a slow build, but it's just the payload options. Maybe we should have gotten a jester. But there's spirits out there. Silk merchants might run, and then what? Else? That won't hit anything good. We might hit a secret cave or a church. Copper, of course, isn't doing anything. Cursed gold would be a no-op. It's not like a great jester. How many times can we choose what we're setting aside to church? Let's find out. In terms of three piles, silk merchants run, curses are low, but I don't really see a third pile. We could try to aim for estates, I suppose. We're not, like, super far off. But we trashed our cursed gold. So curses aren't emptying anytime soon. Did our opponent? They haven't played a ghost yet. I don't think I have anything down there. Alright, so we ate through our... our villagers there. Let's just get two provinces, I guess. We might dead. We also could just go like Silk Merchant, Messenger, Silk Merchant. That doesn't work. We could go double Silk Merchant, Province. Just try to deny outs for our opponent. Give us more food. Yeah. We're in a pretty strong spot. I think we should do that. Should we get a Wisp instead of an Imp? In terms of Uniques, we don't have a whole lot. I think it's actually Wisp time.
I think we keep gaining golds with gold mine. We have extra plus buy. We have the draw. We can always turn treasures into draw if we need to. Probably get a secret cave. That's a cantrip we can play with imp. I don't think our opponent has any imps. We have three. Yeah, we're just way ahead. Honestly, our opponent should resign. Hmm. Oh, they double ghosted. Wow. Uh, I guess we go Silk Merchant. So we can actually... Target our gold mine with this other imp. I don't think it's worth the co like spending the coffers. Uh, unclear. Unclear. <clears throat> yeah, I think our opponent has no wisps. And one imp. That's it. And those are both of their ghosts. I 
Oh yeah, we could also get a church. There's lots of stuff we could be doing. I think we'll just triple province this turn. Yeah, I think we can do that. Game two. On to game three. Uh, we have to... this well this is weird we could do a mass rebuild Or we could do... We could try to do joust stuff. It's um, not obvious to me. If we if we tried to build, which I think I'm tempted to do. Cause we have masons. I think I open infirmary. Overpay. And then a mass. Well, we might not be able to amass, which is fine, I think. So, okay, we could also do a mass rebuild and try to get golds from Tunnel. I don't know. This is a weird one. Let's try to beat the rebuild thing. Instead of follow as player two. All right, do we order of ma like masons? We could discard three. I think so. No, oh, we only get to discard two. All right, this is fine. Uh, 
I think I'd like to amass a relic. I think relic will slow down my opponent. I think it's a card I want to play with. Obviously, we need to play with Joust at some point. I don't think I want to mess around. And we can always get Vineyard for points. It's an interesting situation. Oh, I can't amass for Relic. All right, do we want a rebuild? Nah. Okay, it's a pretty average outcome for our opponent. Maybe a little better than average. Wow, buying a state. I don't know about that. Um, I think galley is more important than than really anything else we could be doing. We can also junk with Young Witch. Uh, do we want to trigger this shuffle? With Royal Galley in there? Probably not. Do we want a Young Witch? Young Witch seems pretty good. Maybe we do want to trigger the shuffle to get closer to infirmary. Okay. I'm going to buy a young witch, I think. It's a little awkward. Actually, no, let's get the relic now. Okay, let's get the relic. This looks good. All right, Fisherman, certainly. Well, actually, Bobble has some value. That's a lot of estates. I don't know about that. All right, should we be getting a gold? Or should we get the young witch? I might end up trashing too many cards if we don't get a gold here. I mean, we could get a second Relic as well. Try to slow our opponent down even more. There's redundancy there. On the other hand, we can go down to three Copper and still afford a Province if we get two Relics and we have 
the joust. That seems sufficient. I, I am planning on getting deck control. But... Plans are one thing. Reality is another. Our opponent should have been just going after provinces hard. This will cost them. Hopefully the game. <laughs> Like, I, if the game extends out and provinces aren't threatened, I can just get a bunch of points from vineyards. Interesting. Okay. So we can get the infirmary uh, royal galleade again. We could go buy coin and get, like, fishermen or whatever. Fisherman, young witch. Hmm. I guess next turn we can get the Young Witch, which might be better. Although next turn we can get the Galley, which is also good. Uh, we could buy Favor and just get Fisherman Bauble. That's a little bit weird. Uh... Okay. What to do now? Probably we want another Royal Galley. Seems like a good card. I don't know. We're not in province this turn. We need more galleys. Are they going for like a duchy duke thing? That's so weird. Maybe it'll work. But I have vineyard points. I don't think it'll work. All right, they're going for province. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. 
Did I get there? I did get there. Uh, coin. Favor. Masons. Let's galley the fisherman. Uh, I mean, galley joust is pretty good at this stage. Let's do it. Let's freaking go. Okay. We could take a courser so that we can hopefully draw into Young Witch, or we could just take Renown. I think I like Renown here. Oh my goodness, that's so fortunate. Okay. Cornet's pretty good. Courser is, of course, very good. Um, cards and actions on the Courser. We could also do Coronet to try to what? Hmm, doesn't seem that good. Let's go with the Corsair. Okay, let's Royal Galley the Fisherman. And we play Infirmary and Young Witch and that stuff. Okay. What to do? What to do? Definitely buy. Uh, we probably shouldn't have gotten that province, right? Maybe it's fine. Uh, we just don't know exactly how many provinces our opponent is going to be able to gain. So if we do like buy coin, then we could get like province, galley bauble, what happened in our opponent's last turn? Um... They could have three rebuilds, theoretically. No, they haven't drawn since then. So I think we could just province race. If we take three provinces, we win. Uh, I'd really like a... I think I'd really like a... favor for that. Hmm. Okay. Turnip does not give plus buy.
think I actually want to just get a tunnel and a bauble. Okay, that was not ideal. Not at all ideal. Hmm. Now I'm a little bit of, a little bit of scared. We should still win if our opponent gets two provinces, as long as we have a turn. Oh boy. I think I might get double joust. Yeah, definitely not the best draws. I think we're gonna lose. Shoot. We got a little bit greedy. We overestimated our deck. Shoot. I think they still have like. I don't know why they're doing that. Okay. Wow. Now we have no Royal Galley support and no Courser. We do have at least one province. And a joust. We can top deck some stuff, but yeah, this is rough. I think I just want to maximize VP without touching province. Okay, so huge turn up gives us the most points. Most coins. Coronet?
Oh, it's May. Okay. I don't hate Domain. I think buying a province is like the best thing I can do though. I don't think Domain gets us there. Oh, mistakes are made. It's probably fine, but mistakes were definitely made. I should have just played the infirmary. And played the uh, coronet in our other phase. Managed to win the first three games. Uh, hopefully, all right. Um, yeah, we're going to try to work out when we're going to play the remaining three games of the match. But until then...